To many, a music workshop might not seem like the first place to take a group of deaf students, but that's exactly what's been going on in Hastings this week. NTV's Megan Johnson has the story. In fact, the performing arts company putting this event on says it's been a perfect match, and the kids who took part say they're living their dreams and creating some new ones after this great experience. Between new music and new moves, Kalia McCaskill has been busy. We've been dancing and doing some singing, to, and it's been really fun. Welcome to the second act, everybody. Around um, 70 Nebraska kids are in Hastings working with a nonprofit called Young Americans, college students teaching music outreach through performing arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But rarely are their pupils all deaf or hard of hearing. We taught them the singing, dancing, and acting that we would teach to those other kids. Um, it was just a little different this time because some of them couldn't hear the music or some of them couldn't even feel the music on the ground. The group incorporates sign language, adds extra cues, even turns up the bass so their new friends can feel the music. The most important part, I guess, of this workshop is just making sure that the kids feel accepted and feel like their their deafness isn't a hindrance, because it isn't. They should be able to enjoy the music and the dancing just as much as any other kid. Tyler Wilson says he loves music and wants to interpret it for others as he does in their big final show. I, you know, I would love to join the Young Americans. I think that the people that are involved, they have given me a type of self-confidence that I hadn't found anywhere else. And all I can really say is that they have given me a strong emotional support. Sarah Knight also steps out on the stage, saying she's learned more sign language and seen kids get out of their comfort zones as the workshop wraps up. This show today, nobody has any restrictions. We're all free, we're all flying. Everyone sees how happy we all are and how happy we're going to be. And I feel like the Young Americans have really helped with that. They're incredible and they've showed that there, there are no boundaries for anything like this. The Young Americans group also works on keeping the performing arts in schools. Their Turn Up the Music Foundation has a goal of giving $1 million toward those programs over three years. Sounds like a great program. Thanks, Megan.